Okay, why is it doing? Sitting in the front row. Yeah, then there was slots where so you did. Well, it's <laughs> part of my pulls up to you. I They haven't been here still yet. They still been here. So we paid. They have been. If you paid something, I gave five hundred dollars chair though. If they came, nobody told me they were here. They house. were here. No, then I don't know that. Okay, okay. well, we need to maybe tomorrow we can follow up on Yeah, that. nobody okay. told me that part. I know I called them and they said it was $500. Yeah, I've done that, yeah. But I have never yeah. seen anybody or told yeah. me that they were here. But right, we'll look to you. Okay. I'll get it back. Yeah. He did say borrowed, so that's what he could have said. <laughs> this will be the, this is for the one that you did Monday. Okay. This will be what you'll get from now on. Brad's not a big He can't see me. Oh, that's the thing. I'll go for that one. Yeah. This is the section. Like, how come it still is on the scale when I step on it? Though? That's what I want to understand. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Okay, it's it's this. Okay, so you can have that. You just attach that to it when you. That's fine. You can just put it in when you work next. I can get it to you tonight. I just okay. okay. All right. Now you don't want to work. Huh? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> 
receiving a zoning application. It's uh, resolution 23-1220T-001, receiving uh, the application 23-09 rezoning for Connie, M, and Devon, and West Bosque of 1500 um, Green Cook Road, somewhere high, rezone 5.034 acres. From current AR1 to FR1, set the hearing for um, 7 15, January 17th. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Motion carried. Financials? Aye. We've got the November bank reconcile, the appropriation status, and legend and folder to the email to you guys. Uh, approval of the following minutes, November the 15th, 2023, regular meeting. Do you have any additions or corrections to the minutes? Motion, we accept the minutes. Second. Mm -hmm. All those in favor? Aye. 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 I'll abstain. I wasn't present for that meeting. Uh -oh. Motion carried. Uh, presented the bills up on the table in the payment listing report, starting with warrant number 13234. Through warrant 13260, voucher number 156 2023, through voucher number 166 2023, total amount $156,058.08. Mr. Uh, further removal of credit card user Jerry Paul. Sorry, dear. <laughs> <laughs> Authorize me on behalf of the trustees to complete removal from the credit card account and restore Jerry Paul's credit card. So moved, unfortunately. I'll second. All those in favor, aye. 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 Motion carried. Uh, to get a credit card, a new credit card user, Matthew Yeager for a township credit card use for cemetery and parks. We have a little discussion before. I mean, I, we're we're talking about potentially raising this, or part of what we were going to discuss was potentially raising the credit card limits. I think with them, or, the, Lisa. Yeah, see. That, is that all we're going to do? I believe so. We're not gonna raise mass card, correct? Well, I guess I guess my question is what well, one of the things I was wondering from if I understood your emails, I maybe maybe I misunderstood, is if we were to raise like the, the one for maintenance and the one for Matt or whatever and, and for the fire department, then that bill would just come to Lisa instead of Lisa having to deal with potentially May, I mean, uh, you're you're not making the purchase. There would still be maintenance, right? You said something about using the car. I didn't. I didn't totally understand. Like I, I don't said. understand about maintenance. Maintenance has a card, but it's a two thousand dollar limit. Yeah, everybody's got a two thousand dollar limit right now, okay. and then I get credit card statements for each person, and I email it to them. Then they do a credit card log with the receipts attached. Okay. Back so you're not okay. I thought you were using the card that you were wanting to that you have to pay that bill. So that wasn't that's not what you meant to pay to the, pay like to, for the maintenance. No, in, anything that's like small bills. Okay, okay, stamps are going up. Okay, and I'm using checks for right. a twenty dollar check to send it, and I'm like, I can pay right. with a credit card, okay. and it wouldn't charge us anything. I misunderstood. Yeah. Okay. Because stamps are going up. I understand. Yeah, you know, I agree. But I that's why I, I thought we were saying because of 
you know, the fact that it's $2,000, like when we bought the stoves, you know, we had to deal with all that hoopla of jumping through. Well, if you guys want to raise everybody's, that's up to you. Right. I understand that. But yeah. I thought that was the, per well, I, I was, tr that was the reason why I was questioning that. Oh, okay. I mean, I. And uh, the I, other side of the coin is uh, we want to get a card for administrative office. I think we should. Well, it has to be in somebody's name because somebody has got to be responsible for that credit card. So it just can't be just a general one. Well, I understand yeah. that. I think I think that, and I think raising the the limits to five thousand because two thousand, as we saw just with the stoves, was an issue. Well, the stoves, and uh, I'm not sure how we came out on the AV system. Um, that's rare occasion we spend that much money. Right. It happens. That type of thing is probably going to happen more than. Unfortunately, prices of things are increasing. Exactly. So. I mean, I, I, I would I would make the motion for, for Matt to have the card. I would just say that we raise that to 5,000 limit. And then we also discuss farther down in, I see as we're moving down through the evening, uh, it'd be the maintenance department get a card in the administrative what I guess in this case would be Kendra in her office and then the the fire chief uh the fire department have the uh, have their balance increased mm -hmm. and then I guess in amongst all this and is I was just curious as to who all currently has cards um Richard Grasda, Bart Walker, me, Jerry Paul, and Thomas O'Brien. Richard, from my standpoint, I, I would never need a two thousand over a two thousand dollar limit. I mean, just for what I purchased the equipment there is and that type of thing. So, but if you want to keep it consistent, I'm just that's uh, why I was just yeah, thinking uh, consistency. Yeah, I'm fine with that. Yeah. Rarely would I need over what five hundred dollars. Well, I didn't need it either, but right. Well, you would need. Yeah, but it, I mean, the only thing I buy is stamps. But somebody used my card yeah. and used almost all my two thousand dollars. And that's, that's so when I sit in line for 15, 20 minutes at the right. post office and it got declined. <laughs> so I had to use my personal one. Yeah. Because I was like, I'm not sitting in this line again. <laughs> well, I think I think you know, just across the board, increasing it. <laughs> so I'd, I'd make a motion for uh, that that the twenty twenty three one twenty two O T zero zero five to approve Matt Yeager with a uh, credit limit of five thousand for the credit card. Second, we want to add uh, administration. Well. Yeah, I guess we could we could we could just add the administrative one in there. We could just say all credit card holders, current credit card holders. Well, I guess we're trying to just trying to get him a card first. Don't we have to do it that way? And then we could Yeah, and then we can say the current yeah. credit card holders. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Well raise the limit for five thousand dollars. Okay. Right? Yeah. And then you'd have to do a separate vote to add a new person again. Okay. Right. No, we could. Why? Why can't we just put that all in this motion that Matt Yeager, uh, the administration, and that all credit cards are uh, to be increased to five thousand dollars? I don't know. I'm asking. I mean, so I just put it in the minutes. Okay. I want to oh, type it up right. Specify her name. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Kendra Boyd. Yeah. Okay. I'm sorry. Yeah. So you got all users. Matt is added. It's five thousand dollar limit for all users and Kendra's. Uh, is also yes. as a user. Yes. I try to put their names so that way in case Katie proves that I got permission to do this mm -hmm. <laughs> from the bank. <laughs> yeah. We but I'd say Richard Rash, Bart Walker, Lisa Hersey, Thomas O'Brien, Kinderborough, and Matt Yeager. Yes. Yeager just list right. everybody's name and say five thousand dollar credit. We need to find out signature cards, right? They'll need to call signature. Yeah, cards. we'll have to do credit card policy. Okay. Okay. Yeah. yeah.
Okay. Uh, is that a motion? I think it was. Yes, and Kinder's. I think Kinder's trying to get it. I'm trying to get all caught up, so because I, I got to get all the names in here. Okay. Um. <clears throat> that we got. I got one, two, three. So there would be um, Matt, that's four, and Lisa, that's Percy, and then me. Then have six names. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, five thousand dollar limit per month. The the first Commonwealth, or just five thousand yeah. dollar limit goes up per month. Okay. okay. All right. So that's the motion. Okay. okay. You're second. All right. Yep. Motion been moved and seconded. Uh, yeah, roll call vote, please. Roll call. Richardson. Aye. Uh, Paul. Aye. Jackson. Uh, Aye. Okay, the next motion we don't really need. No, that one we don't no, need. No, we didn't. X that one out. Temporary yeah. yeah, we need to approve yeah. that. No, it's yeah. still moved. Second. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Now, we took care of raising the credit limit. Yeah, we did that um, one. So we're done there, right? We're rid of all this credit card stuff that was in here. All right. Approval of new credit card. What happened? That was just taken care of. Right. So. No, you also sorry. credit improvements. I'm sorry. You also credit improvements. Yeah. yeah. Sorry, Kendra. Wipe that all, all right. of your right. things you wrote. That's okay. The road estimates I got in Delaware County. Uh, after um, then looking at Center Village Road, our portion that runs from uh, Harlem Road to Genoa Line, they recommended this crack seal and not pave it. So, given that, I put Ivy Ridge in the mix to do an overlay on it, but it needs some mastic uh, crack fill before it's paved. So, we, if we approve this, Little notation on the uh, estimate here and send it back to them that it needs the mastic applied. And that's the um, company we hired last summer. I can't recall the name, but Justin Hines is the contact. The paving for Ivy Ridge is 28900 The crack seal for Center Village is 5700 And paving Gorsuch from 605 to uh, Miller Falls, 189000 so that's a grand total of 245,600. Then the uh, crack seal, maybe on the Ivy Ridge would be about 6,000. We got some other miscellaneous things we're probably gonna do when they have Buckeye come in and do some of the uh, milling on the edge of the road, like we did this past year. The dust control um, part's supposed to have uh, to our organizational meeting, prices on stone at Henderson uh, for the next year. And then when county takes bids, they'll tell us what the asphalt's going to cost. But I guess I'm asking the trustees for approval of the estimate so I can resubmit this to the county for 245600 It's moved. Second. All those in favor, aye. Aye. That's uh, carry. Yeah, I just I'm gonna bring it up. Um, you know, we've discussed and the 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 need to have cell phones for the uh for the trustees and for uh any person who is working for the township. Uh Matt's using his personal phone. I know I use my my phone a lot. Uh, just the privacy part of it, the fact that your phone, once the business starts going through, your phone becomes public record. Not that I got anything to hide, but I just don't want to have to turn my phone over to someone if they want to see it. And then just discussion, and I asked, had asked Kendra to just get prices. So if we want to discuss it, fine. If we want to just let it fall off, but I'm... Wow. 
just to let you know, uh, we have I have the Spectrum VoIP app on my phone that connects me to the township phone. So whenever a call comes into our office, it comes to my phone. It breaks up, drops calls. It does not, I mean, it works, but not always, not well. Sometimes that I lose connection between here and between my cell phone and the office phone and I miss phone calls. So it's not a perfect, it works. It can continue that way, but it's not perfect. So that that is- See, I haven't had a bit of problem with that app. Okay. At all, I get voicemails, I can text message, message, I call people back, they think I'm here in the office when I call them back through the app. And it's a difference in carriers, cell carriers. I was just going to say. Um, I checked through different cell carriers, and I went on to Apple's store for the iPhones, mm -hmm. uh, because the iPhones what was recommended for us to use uh, by pretty much everybody I talked to. It's um, just the most user friendly, um, and the prices were the same. Just the um, plain iPhone 15 was 7.99. The 15 Pro is 9.99. And the Pro Max was like $11.99. Um, in the research and stuff that I did, it seems that uh, just the, the regular iPhone 15 uh, would be what most people would probably need to use. Um, and then I was thinking one Pro because of the camera to use for pictures and stuff for the website, Facebook, uh, the newsletter, all the photographs that we take can be used by a phone and the quality of the pictures are just a little bit better with the the pro camera okay and it's not you know i guess you know like when i talked to dave about this you know you had mentioned that if you had another phone you know keeping track of two phones yeah. Yeah. so if you don't want to get one you're you're not forced to get one well it You'd almost have to call me on the other phone to tell me, hey, you got a phone call. Exactly. Exactly. And like Chief, when I talked to him about it, he didn't see a need in him having one. Yeah. So I there, didn't see a need in me having one. And Lisa, okay. So sure. she doesn't have a need yeah. for one. So it would be, you know, Matt would like to have, you know, to keep things separate. Carl, I think, has said, made it, you know, that he would like to. Um, Mike Cannon who is not here, no. but he has stated that he thinks it would be best for him to have a second one. Mm -hmm. And in light of the issues that I do have with the app, then, and with, you know, we could do that. Yeah. I, I guess my thing is, I know recently I've been getting phone calls from a lot of different places. Mm -hmm. um, and I would really like to know I don't I don't answer my personal phone with Carl Richardson Arm Township. I answer my personal phone, yeah, what's up? And that doesn't really go across very professional when you're talking with someone. That's one of the things I'm thinking. And I think it's the same with with uh Mike Cannon. Mike. Yeah. You know, yeah. Or 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 your your phone, at least it rings your phone that it's a township. Yeah, call. I can tell. I can differentiate one of the township. Usually <laughs> now some people just call my cell phone straight because they know who I am yeah. and know my personal cell phone. So then it's different. Uh, and, and, you know, for someone that I know, I mean, you know, like when, yeah. if, if Roger calls me, you know, Roger's name comes up on my phone, I know who it is, or right. Pat or someone, but just a, a random person calling about township business or something. Well, for me, if I'm going to have another phone, I just shouldn't have one like what I have here. It's 13 mini, which is right. convenient for me. I don't need to talk on an iPad. And no. those are about $100 less yeah. from what I from what I researched. Well, that's what I have. I have it in here. I don't like big phones. <laughs> but well, I, think phones I, think I think it's, it's, I think it's, it's amazing phones are getting bigger. It's this, size. So, this, this is a 15. Yes. Yeah. Oh, is it? Yeah. Yeah, the, the measurements on the screens and stuff is to say this is a 14 Pro, and yeah. it was the same size as this because it's a 6.1. So, oh, you want to move forward on this? Is this something we can do this year, or do we have to wait? Or, uh, well, I mean, I'm not open for business. 
I say, saying I'm trying to close. For I would say I would right say now. let's wait. I mean, I I just wanted to start the discussion. Okay, to get start the discussion. Forward. I'm good with that. I mean, we can always, if you guys wanted to go ahead and approve it, and then just put it on to make it effective in April when she opens the books. It's not going to be in April. I'm trying to get it about February. Oh, okay. So when she, opens I got to get it done by April. Right. Yeah, that's what yeah. I meant because I know that that's your cutoff. So we, we could just, I mean, if you want, we could like approve it and say effective as soon as after we get permanent as, as soon as as soon, as soon as soon as Lisa hits the green button. Right. I okay. got that okay. green button first. Yeah. All right. <laughs> so, that so resolution 23 122 11 approved for township cell phones. So I'll make that motion, yes. Second. Oh, I'll second. All those in favor, aye. 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 Okay, approved. Cemetery, why not? Dr. Jake now, or are you doing exactly the same? Yep. Think we're going to go exactly with Jake. He's over here. Ah, He's hiding. <laughs> yeah. We'll just wait to exactly do that. That's okay. Sounds good. All right. We're going to do a double back on that one. Okay. Anything else? Facilities? Mm. No. Talk about the handbook, passing that. Uh, I'd make a motion that we approve the employee handbook as presented. I, I went through it. I didn't see anything. I didn't either. His attorneys went through it. And is a lot smarter than me. Yep. Yep. Oh, I found some things. Sorry. Oh, all right. Yeah. Uh, you guys want to go through or do you want me to email you and let you know? It would be bound. There's a link to your list. Okay, the timekeeping on K, page 26, it says to turn all timesheets into an administrative office. To be the fiscal officer instead of administrative. Well, if they turn them into me, we can verify things are accurate before it goes yeah. to you. Then that we're trying to get a consistency of timekeeping as we are growing and additional. It's just like the fire department. All the firefighters, they turn their timesheets into the chief. He approves it prior to submitting it to Lisa. So say so you're going to be approved on the time card? I would be going over it with the department heads to make sure everything was accurate because there has been a, a situation where stuff wasn't turned in on time. And so if it gets, you know, if it hasn't come to me, then we have a check and balance in the system to know, hey, that wasn't submitted to me. So it hasn't gotten to Lisa on time. And then she doesn't have to chase things down. No. It, it simplifies it for Lisa. Okay, so then on the, on the same page 26, you're going to do the leave um, pay period, including leave without pay, will be submitted to the Administrative Human Resources Office instead of FO. It can, it'll, once again, it would come to me. We would verify that, yes, they were off for this time. You have to know whether they have any time available, and then it would go to you to be finalized to simplify things for you. I think a lot of these things too. I mean, my my when I was reading over it, I guess I'm looking at you know right now, it's not a big deal. You know, we've got what right five people. Right, but as no, we grow, yeah, yeah, that's why I said. I, I guess. The, but my thing is the reason I I didn't see an issue with it. I mean, was the fact that. If if as this township grows and as our numbers grow, it starts throwing more and more work on you, try can, tracing people down, which is, should not be your job to trace people down. Well, I'm going to stop tra uh, well, and tracing that's, people down. And, and, and that's exactly and that's exactly. exactly what I'm trying to avoid. I mean, that's not something we necessarily want to get into where someone doesn't get paid. So if we have someone that that is in the office that can track a person down or a, a some they can go to the that person's boss and try to find out. It, this is more of a this handbook is more of a future type. It's now planning. and future. It's, to it's now and future exactly. That that's the reason why I didn't see any issues with that. Yeah. 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 Y
um, who ultimately is responsible for the veracity of that paycheck? Is it Lisa or if the administration does it, then it falls in your, as, as far as Ohio revised code? Uh, payroll, it's my responsibility because it's part of my audit. So ultimately, regardless of what happens, you are responsible. Correct. So if, that's why if, I try to hunt down. But uh, if it's given to you incorrectly and you pay that check, you are responsible, not the person who gave it to you, correct? Correct. Okay. Yeah, I'm I'm responsible right. for it. So then the next thing you've got on page 27, you've got annual service credit, and then on page 31, you've got service credit. And there are two different service credits. One's after five years, one's one to five years. Well, because the fire department starts at one year and maintenance starts at five. Okay, I don't see anything about this being the service credit being for fire. fire. It just says this section supersedes by the hiring agreement. So I'd be confused. I'd be like, which one do I get? Do I get <laughs> I can yeah, it needs to say fire fire. I can put the fire fire, fire in there. Department. That's a problem. It's a little confusing. Yep. Okay. And then you've got working vacation pay on page 33. Uh, requested in writing or by email from the human resource office. Once again, I'm not sure why he would go to the human resources when they should be in writing to from the employee to the fiscal office. Well, you had asked who was going to track all of the leaves and stuff when we were talking about it originally, and we had sent out an email saying the department heads we're going to track it and then we came up within the department heads that when they track it they would give it to me to sign off on and then i would forward we it never discuss working vacation pay this is all new not working vacation pay but tracking vacations holidays sick leave bereavement everything you asked who was going to track all that stuff when we updated the hiring agreements yeah well we and that was part of all systems for Right, right. Well, you know what I'm saying? And that's why I was wondering why it needed to go to you when I'm the one who's going to be paying it out and I'm the one who needs that. We can change it and make it to you, but I was just trying to keep everything consistent as, you know, since you had asked who was who was going to track it for you, what kind of forms we were going to create, what kind of tracking system we were putting in place. I was just trying to keep everything consistent. Gotcha. On page 43, it's about the credit card. If you look down the third dot from the bottom, the card holder, card holder will submit the original receipts to the fiscal officer each Monday. Yeah. Well, how often do you want it? I want to do, when I give you guys statements, you guys match up those statements to your monthly, to your log. And then you get it all back to me, and then I make sure it's correct, and then I have everything, and I pay the bill. So monthly upon receipt of the end after the statement, email after the statements, email to you guys with the attached receipts. Okay. Page forty-four at the bottom of number two reimbursements. You got Genoa Township. Oops. On page 45, there's two more Genoa Township. One's in telephone expenses, the other one's in parking. That's it. We kind of passed over this thing with the, who's gonna be tracking this, that one. Is that resolved in your mind on how that should, well, um, I, it was only one employee, and I had a discussion with the department head, and he said he would make sure he took care of it, because mm -hmm. he didn't realize, and he said, no, it's fair. She can't figure out how to get a timesheet in, or you're not 
her babysitter, you're not her mother. And I explained, I don't, I think I got three emails explaining when time sheets need to be turned in. I can get paid on that Friday. By that Monday, give me your time sheet. Email it to me. How do you see it working, Chief? I mean, what? How do you see it? So we changed. Just want to be yeah, yeah. So we we changed all of ours when we looked for Department Head. Um, we brought the Jennifer Roscoe on board. He was able to change. We had a book and a paper and different things. And um, Mike worked with Lisa on it to be able to accept the ESO stuff. And we told our employees, it is your responsibility um, to make sure you've got your your paperwork, and then it's the officer's responsibility. To approve and make sure that what you put down is sound, right. and they are also the officers are the only ones that have the authority to put overtime or anything else on. So we've taken a lot of the burden is on the employee to put it in, but the onus is on us to make sure it's correct. Okay. And then Mike Mike reconciles it and sends off the lease. Okay. Exactly. So we're trying to put the same or similar system in place. Okay. I know right now there is only one employee that's not salary, uh -huh. but. As we grow, this is this is once again futuristic, looking okay. forward, not just on today, wow. and trying to put a very similar system in place for all staff. I just want to make sure we're not talking about two different things here. I guess we're not. I don't think so, okay. because I've I've consulted with Chief on their system, and we're developing something very similar, but on our side, because we can't use the system they use. Okay, so you are all right with what you're hearing. Mm -hmm. okay. And she's the one who makes sure we get paid. So, we <laughs> want to yeah, okay. okay, all right. So, we got everything resolved here. On, uh, I think so. I can make should, sure. Should we, should we, before we vote on that, go ahead and fix whatever corrections to make sure everybody gets to see it? I mean, normally I know we can just say as corrected, but. Just so that we, Wait, we have a clean copy. Make, make sure we have a clean copy. I, I think that's a good idea. But let's push reset on that. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, next item is uh, 23 12 T013. It's to approve the reimbursement to our home township heritage for the dumpster that we use for heritage days. It's a cost of three hundred twenty-five dollars. To move, but we did that. No, I got the invoice from them. It hasn't been paid. They paid it. We haven't reimbursed them. Okay. All right. Second. All right. All in favor, aye. All right. Aye. Approve. Okay. Approval of um, for the township to accept credit card payments for zoning permits, cemetery fire permits, facility rentals through. Point and pay, one time setup fee of $2,000, transaction fee 3% will be charged to the user at the time of the transaction. There's no cost to set up on the website and authorize Kendra on behalf of trustees to initiate setup. Is anybody going to give me information about this? Credit card? <laughs> Once this or is all trained or anything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we haven't got any of that, but yes, you can. You would be in the training no. on it and everything. You're you're a vital yeah, part I of that. Be able to get to this to reconcile everything. Yep, and I got to be able to understand it, and make sure it works. There are Maybe other entities can. use this point and pay that uh, all and like every county in the state of Ohio uses okay. the point and pay, and several townships use point and pay. Um, it is. A government supported credit card. You know, I think system. that would eliminate the check that you've been chasing. You know, you've got a return. But also, it also fixes, whereas if we issue a permit and then something where the check bounces, how do you, what do you exactly. do with that permit yeah. that you've yeah. issued? Oh, I think it's a great idea. I just need yeah. information on it. Yeah. Yeah. I know Which, nothing about it. Yeah. I know. Yeah. Well, What's the pleasure on this? Make a three, what's the 3% to the user? Is that 
Like it's called a transaction yeah. fee. So yeah, if they go, they, 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 they pay it upon <laughs> use. Okay. Yeah, it's like when you if, if so you ever go. Oh, uh, okay. So like if I go online to pay my Delco water bill, yeah. when I pay the forty three dollars, there's a two dollar and ninety five cent transaction fee or whatever it is, and that's. I pay that that's as the customer. The it's no, not charged to the charge, company. No. It's charged it's to the, the customer. That's correct. Right. Yeah. So I make, a mo I make the motion. Sorry. Sorry. So All those in favor, aye. Aye. Those who carried on credit card payments. Uh, next item we had on here was the approval of the new township security cameras. Uh, with that, please, are you on the way? Well, I'd rather wait until we get into permanent. Okay. So until the green button gets pushed. Yeah, until the green button gets pushed. Yes. Um, Carol is here. If you have any questions on the security cameras, um, he can answer all your questions tonight. And then when you go to make the vote, you know, in the future, sure. then you already have all the information and he wouldn't have to come back a second yeah. time. With that number, where are they monitored from? How are they, or do they record and to, do they record to where? So with this, they would record to an NVR that's located out in the base okay. up where they're not accessible without ladders. Uh, so they're recorded 24 seven to that box and can be monitored from computers, cell phone, really kind of wherever, wherever you want to get access to it. And just about what access 24 7. What's the duration on a reset? 30, days. 30 day reset, okay. Yep, yeah. that can be tweaked if you know needed for any sort of retention purposes. But we figured 30 days is probably a pretty good, pretty good number. And how many cameras total? Uh, I believe it was eight. The level would be a price increase between now and in on labor wise and stuff. No, uh, or hardware wise, possible. Um, I mean, it's it's a pretty fluid market out there right now in terms of that stuff. So, what company or brand? Uh, the, the uh, network video recorder is going to be from Synology. The camera is from a company called Ampress. Okay. Question? Yes. Question? Yes. yes. Um, are, uh, what are the location of these cameras? Any, anything in the park? Anything in the park? No. The closest you would get to the park would be the front doors of the base, but there's nothing facing across to the park. It's all around this building? Yes. Yeah. It's focused on this, this location. Pretty much any uh, ingress, egress point. So you can track if somebody entered the building, what they did. Um, and then there's some special considerations for like the EMS closet, uh, the township rooms back here in the hallways. Uh, maintenance building? Nothing on the maintenance building in this. What about the question of yeah, the yeah. possibility of expanding it later in the future? Is that yeah, we definitely could expand it. Uh, the only consideration would be is the network video recorder is sized for this building. Adding additional cameras may change the sizing that's needed for that. Um, now we did plan kind of for you know the uh, addition of a camera here or there. I didn't want to propose something that immediately you throw out if you want to get one more camera. Uh, but we'd have to take into consideration this location once we had it, make sure that that's the okay. the proposal. We have an idea. of Cost difference if we went to I don't know let's say the next larger. Mm. Uh, I don't have that in front of me. Like I said, this one was a little bit over spec because the cost difference wasn't significant. It did give you that runway, um, but I would have to to revisit kind of make sure. The other consideration for adding things like the part or the maintenance building is just the geographical distance across. How do we get a reliable connection over there? Uh, or do we rely on you know trying to connect that internet source to this? Is there another answer? If that was capable, the fact capacity would be there. Yeah, like the the maintenance garage to here is if there's line of sight, we may consider doing a point to point connection from you know tower up on the, the building. Um, and that actually might alleviate whatever the internet connection need is over there because you could share it from this location. So as long as your uh, your deal with Spectrum doesn't you know, limit you from doing that. Uh, we might gain savings by not paying for two internet bills and get that reliable connection if you need. I guess I'd ask, since we're sort of on hold until the green button gets pushed, should we look into possibly getting us a cost to go with the larger capacity, say if we wanted to add two camera, two or three more cameras elsewhere? Yeah, absolutely. I think we should. 
And I, I do think, like, I, I'm not going to commit to it because I just don't have those notes in front of me, but I do believe there was at least two or three cameras worth of wiggle room, you know, well within this, this you know, uh, invoice, not including, obviously, the cameras and stuff. But I think that there is that much wiggle room for sure, but I'd have to, you know, refer back to my notes. Okay. So, because we put that on hold. All right. Since we're kind of on hold anyways. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Moving on. The fire department. Okay. Thank you. Um, but, oh, excuse me. Uh, just a little update on you. So far this year, um, we've had 609 runs, 380, uh, 382 MS, and 227 fire. So we're at about a 60 40 split on EMS and fire runs. Um, last year, um, we had 538 runs total, so we have had seen a 13% increase this year alone. Um, our use of mutual aid um, has decreased some areas and gone up in other areas, and it's being followed by the fire departments and other EMS agencies has increased um, um, because of the demand in the area. And uh, I expect it to only continue in an upward pattern. So, um, we have an opportunity, um, Lieutenant Bash and I um, get together. Um, he shows me what we need for um, to replace our gear. And we have an opportunity to apply for a grant from the State Fire Marshal's office. So I'd like permission to, uh, just, yeah, go, okay, it's fine. Uh, to apply to see if we can get some money to help us uh, with the offset the cost of our gear. Sure. sure. All right, um, resolution 23-122-T16. Um, every year, Medicare um, reevaluates what they're paying, what they'll pay for EMS costs, and we have to um, accept the rate increases um, so that our billing company can um, do it. It's, it's a standard thing, and it's do it pretty much every year. So I'll ask you to, uh, if you would please approve uh, the uh, rate increase, accept the rate increases. That's what it's called, yeah, billing? Yes, yeah, so yeah. it's due to solve billing, yes. Yeah. Motion approved. Second. Second. All those in favor, aye. 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 Uh, 23-122-T-17, approval of permanent appointment of Paul Kay as a full-time lieutenant. Um, his probationary period is up throughout the uh, the period. We have had, uh, we mentored him, talked with him, observed him. Um, we've asked our other uh, senior lieutenant some questions, and he's given us some observations and things. Um, we sent him to a fire officer one school. So he's uh, started on the path for, um, you know, <clears throat> bettering his career. Um, I have seen a uh, definite improvement and growth in his abilities. And so I would like to offer him a moved. Second. All those in favor, aye. 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 Um, 23-122-T18. Um, I, when I came in last year, um, what, what you call it, right? The great, the great cleansing that we did. Um, we do a lot. There was a lot of stuff, um, and a lot of stuff of no value. But with Lieutenant Broska upgrading the um, computer systems and things, we do have some things of value. Um, it is easier, and um, other places I've worked just to go through gov deals, um, put it on gov deals. They take care of the sales. They take care of collecting money, and they'll send. Uh, Lisa, a check, minus their fees, the individuals responsible for picking it up or getting it shipped. And to, in order to do this, you have to declare every year, you have to declare your intent to use. So that's what this resolution is for. And it also, too, like if Bart's got something that's valuable, we can, we can accommodate and help that as well. Moved. All those in favor? Aye. Thank you. <clears throat> Maintenance. Uh, Bart reported there he took delivery of 65.76 ton of road salt from American Rock Salt Company. The shed's now full. Yeah, it's up there. The check is. <laughs> what? The check's up there. <laughs> oh, A little over 5,000, I think it was, 5,100. Okay. Parks, or anybody got anything for that? Mm -hmm. Not good the zoning. Uh, I got a couple of things for zoning. Sure. Okay, go ahead. Um, we are assuming that you will be meeting before January eighth for your organizational meeting. 
It's mm -hmm. on the calendar for January 3rd at 1. So we set hours for January 8th. Okay. Uh, we also have um, some hearings scheduled. Um, these are the articles we've been working on with Scott Sanders. Uh, we finally got them fixed up and uh, matching from one to the other throughout the, the zoning resolution. Um, he's done a, a great job with that. And we've, we're pretty pleased with it. So we've got articles 9, 11, uh, 23, 13, um, and sections 21.16 and 21.17 will be added. Uh, we will have a hearing for those on the 8th as well. Um, we've, since we're having our regular meeting on the 8th rather than on uh, the 1st, um, we've moved our workshop meeting to January 22nd. That's the 4th Monday. Mm -hmm. Um, and I, we do want to confirm with you that we will still be able to have Scott Sanders working with us, um, to revise the rest of the articles. Yeah, we've got it on here to approve the extension. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, yeah, there's an extension to the contract with, mm -hmm. uh, Stephanie Matt left it up for us for that. Great. Uh, we've been really pleased with his work, um, and he's gotten us a lot further along than we would have been without him. Anything else? Uh, I think that's it for zoning. I've got something later for H D H. Okay. All right. We need to approve the waiver for zoning fees. Hey, just a second, Jenny. Was there Mike had contacted me something about waiving some fees? Um. Yeah. Uh. And. That yeah. That's what oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's on the agenda. Okay. Never mind. Next resolution twenty three dash twelve twenty t. 019 approval of waiver of zoning fees. Is it to waive the zoning fees for the request to modify the PRD development plan on the property at 11225 and 11229 Gorsage Road? So moved. There a second. While we're, while we're waiving the zoning, uh, the church. The old church, yeah, on the or excuse me, Gorsage Road. Gotcha. We've had so many complications with, uh, with all the confusion. I, I second that. Okay, all in favor, aye. 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 Sorry, I, I, didn't, I didn't read ahead, David. I apologize. <laughs> no, you're you're good. I just knew Mike had called me. Yeah, you're fine. Even for our side, yeah. am I correct? Yes, what's that? Here, here, correct, yeah, clear face, and that includes the major remodel that we discussed at our last zoning workshop meeting, correct? Because that's 11229, we're 11225. Well, this is for the the uh, changing of the plan. It's way, yeah, not right. a zoning fee, not a building fee. Yeah, it is the zoning fee. There's a... Sorry? There, it is for the zoning, the zoning fee because they're correct. modifying a plan. Yeah. Um, but it has nothing to do with any building fees. Well, I think, I assume you're going to, are you the ones that are going to build a garage or something? Yes, sir. That's a different story. You'll have to pay a fee for the building permit for the garage. So we waive the permits, the fees for the action that the zoning commission has to do to amend the plan. Okay. You still have to yeah. go through the yeah. amendment process. Yeah. You just won't be charged for that. Yeah. Okay. Wait a minute, Johnny. What did you say? They still have to go through the amendment process. Amending the amendment process. Right. 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 They don't have to right. Zoning permit for the building. Yes, yeah. that's what they were saying. Right. And yeah. Yeah. Are we amending the thing? Will somebody make yeah. clear to the buyers? You got to have to I get that. You, 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 you still have to come back to the zoning commission to amend the plan because. You will be covering more ground than you than what's approved in the original plan. But there's no cost. Okay, that's what normally I'm normally all of those hearings would there would be fees to go with those hearings yeah. to be able to just to move forward. Those fees are being waived. You still have to go through the process of the of the hearing and get the approval 
and you'll still have to get the building permit when you go to go to build the garage or whatever. But as far as the fees to just go through the process, there are no we're, we're waiving those fees. And, and as we discussed, things we need at least 51% of the owners to be involved in the process. That does require right. the, the other um, property owner to yeah. participate. I've yeah. been two years or 10 years trying to get this figured out. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, I was going to say anything. She has a question. So, just so you know, I've um, uh, contacted uh, an attorney, and the attorney's going to draft that agreement between you and me. It's Kathleen Johnson. Okay. She's my personal attorney, and she's also recommended um, an, an affidavit of fact because of this to be recorded. So she's going, she's working on those two things for us right now, uh, 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 an agreement for Roger and us, and then the affidavit of fact. So there's no further complications pertaining to this plan. It's of record. We, we just, she just thought it would be helpful. For future, more than likely, yeah. yeah. Yes. Okay. Same. Next item we have is resolution twenty three twelve twenty t dash o twenty, the approval of the extension with Delaware County Regional Planning to continue the work of the zoning commission to update and revise the resolution and it costs not to exceed three thousand dollars. Second. All those in favor, aye. 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 <clears throat> okay, the next item we have is resolution 231220 T021 to accept the resignation of Bruce Hamill as alternate for the zoning commission. I so move. Second. All in favor, aye. 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 Mm -hmm. All right. And mm -hmm. I'm closed in the uh, agenda with the report from Mike for zoning permits. His um, enforcement issues. He's still working with um, 5465 Harlem Road, 5828 South State Route 605, 16275 Lowest Road, 9602 Covan, a new one at 12,039 Center Village Road, uh, another in Center Village 12. 116 Center Village Road, Dump Trust Parking, and Hash Road, the uh, 13122, 5801 Miller Fall, Ivy Ridge, Signage, Mayfair, Mayfield Drive, Commercial Business Operating. Uh, potential things for BCA is 14, 520 Center Village Road. 4854 Miller Fall Road from the sky, uh, skating facility. 605 5916 expanded home use. So, uh, it's on hold also. He's still working with developers and having inquiries and has no new projects going right now. This time, the very public have anything before the board? So, you know, um, I've got the um, a schedule and request for um, facility use um, for 2024. Okay. And we've had some, asked, some questions asked about why we would need um, about a week for comparing to the dinners. And that is explanation on the back of that form. Okay. Um, because you you all know that we're we're strictly um, a volunteer organization, and because many of us are still working, um, when we volunteer, we have different schedules. Um, in most cases, Tom and I handle the purchasing of uh, the foods and the supplies. Uh, we go to different stores. We have different schedules. Stuff that we get usually needs to go directly into the pantry for the freezer. Um, some will go into the refrigerator later. Um, meat is always transferred 
to the Grange on Sunday because Glass Rooster allows us to use their commercial kitchen on a Sunday when they don't have other business. Um, so after we finish the preparation there, we bring it all to the Grange to freeze. Um, okay. uh, during the week, um, we have people coming in to do the salads. Uh, we have uh, meat and broth getting moved from the freezers back to the refrigerators uh, for thawing. Um, we have usually a, a day scheduled for a, a cleaning of the grange before the, uh, the dinner. Um, cooking starts early Friday, uh, continues throughout the dinner. Uh, various volunteers bring in desserts all that day, and it really does take Sunday through Friday to get a dinner going. Even though we're not currently making the homemade noodles. Um, so that'll give you a little bit of a, an idea of, of what we do to on the different days. And the other side will give you an idea of the schedule we're looking at. You see, we, we don't have anything scheduled for the Grange in May or June at all. Uh, one of the things that we were contacted about was was you know you guys needed time to um, do some work in the range painting and fixing the bathrooms and stuff. And the question was asked to us and when when we would not be needing to use it at all. I'm gonna make sure we ground your stuff. So we have have left May and June completely open for the range. Okay. I guess to uh, so things don't get confused, I would recommend the board make a motion to accept this schedule and get it posted on the calendar. Uh, was there a motion to accept the schedule to then present it? Second. 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 I'm sorry, I'm just reading. Okay. Third. Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. All I'm right. Good. All in favor, aye. Aye. Uh, okay, so we'll get this uh, to be posted so there won't be any confusion. Anybody else got anything for us? I do, I do want to stress that uh, even though we, we ask for it for you know, a, a group of days, um, if somebody else wants to contact us and say, you know, we've got something scheduled for Saturday or Sunday after that, can we come in sometime during the week to uh, leave some stuff? The the only reason why this even came up and why Kendra asked, I, I asked, I asked Kendra to get in touch with you because I knew that the noodles weren't ever, weren't, weren't being made there anymore. And I was just curious as to why. I mean, this is a simple explanation is all that I needed to see. And I, right, right. I, I have no problem. It makes perfect sense. I didn't know that you guys were still bringing everything over th on Sunday. I mean, obvious, we, we don't want people renting the building if we have the broth setting someplace where it's accessible okay. so it makes perfect sense i just was questioning like i said it wasn't there was no yeah, so there was no there was no malice intended that's great i just wanted to explain um because i know you know it was clear when we were making the noodles when they were spread out oh, absolutely <laughs> yeah it was quite obvious nobody could be in there yeah. um, but we we worked around the the okay. Girl Scouts sometimes, and it's not a problem with us. We don't we don't foresee. I mean, we don't have anybody knocking knocking the doors down to get in there. But it was just it was a question I had because I know sometimes people do want to use it through the week, and I'd just like to be able to give them an answer. And I did pose the question to get the schedule so we could coordinate with the contractor when he's going to be in the there because we didn't want to impede on what you guys. Are trying to accomplish for the township as well. So, and I think it looks like it's all going to work out beautifully. Thank you. Appreciate that. Okay, thank you. Great. You guys approved last month for the office conversion or whatever you want to call it, the kitchen conversion into office space. Correct. Yes, sir. So, what what is the purpose of converting that for? Get additional office space. We got more people coming on. Well, things are going to change in the future. We, you know, we we don't know, but we need to prepare. Okay. Well, with that being said, have we thought anything about for the maintenance guys having a restroom over there? Especially if you're going to be hiring new people, I don't think they're going to want to have to drive from the maintenance building over here. 
every time to use a restroom. Yeah, that's why we kicked around the idea of a new building. We just haven't got that far yet. <laughs> okay. Putting a building a simple office and building a building or adding restroom facilities don't really compare. Not really what? They don't really compare. I mean, we no, can, I was just it, asking what this is for. Yeah, but I mean, we are, we are, we are trying to, we've, we've discussed taking care of the facilities over there. Well, I'm just saying with new guys coming on, I don't, I don't know that if you, when you go to hire somebody new, if that's a, it's a make or break form, I don't know. It, believe me, it's a, uh, it's a concern. It's something that we would love to be able to address easily, but it's, it's not an easily address, addressable situation, unfortunately. The uh, Board of Elections may also want to contact you. They typically prefer to have um, co-workers in a place where there are uh, different facilities available. So well, we can take we, that out. Part of, part of the discussion is also since the internet capability and the fact of numbers and in, in increasing of potentially switching, talking with the Board of Elections to possibly move to the Grange. That would give them everything they need right there. Mm -hmm. And hopefully by that time, a nice bathroom. Nicer. <laughs> or two. Or two. <laughs> I think we've got an election coming up in March. So it probably won't be done by then. <laughs> <laughs> Especially since we have an availability in May. <laughs> okay, anything else? Um, I just want to express. Uh, some heartfelt feelings from the Parks Planning Committee. Um, the parks of this community are, are really something that we're all very proud of and and they make a big difference. And we, we see that, we hear that often. And in particular, with without the, the leadership and the vision, Jerry Paul, um, it would have been a more difficult road. It really, it worked so well. It is working so well because of his expertise and his, his leadership in this. And so uh, just a, a note of, of thank you for, for uh, the, all the services uh, you provided to this township. I think want you to be on the farm committee then. Yeah. <laughs> we'll have to consider that. <laughs> well, there's an old saying, Dave, that old trustees never totally go away. They just jump on their trustee horse. Um, that will move um, your motion to do executive session. That's so moved. Mm -hmm. Roll call vote, please. Richardson? Aye. Paul? Aye. Jackson? Aye. So we're having Jake, Chief, yeah, Mike, Jake. Kendra, yeah. and Matt. Matt. Well, Mike, oh, Matt. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. 